In this video, we're going to write a Python program to compute the area of a square. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the side length of the square. So we'll say input side length colon. The input function is going to return the string that the user enters. We want to use that string as a number in an expression. So the first thing we'll do is use float to convert that string to a number. And we'll store the result into a variable called side underscore length. Next, we'll compute the area of the square. So the area of the square is going to be the side length times the side length. We could also write this as side length to the power of two. This will be equivalent. Then we can print out the resulting area. So we'll say print area colon, and we're going to concatenate the area after it's been converted to a string. So this area here is going to be a number. This here, str, will convert it to a string. And this plus here will concatenate the value to this area string here. So we can save this and run a program. And if we give a side length of five, we'll get back a result of 25. And so our program is working. If we give a side length of something like 2.3333, we get back this result here with many decimal places of accuracy. We might not need that many decimal places of accuracy. So one thing we could do is use the round function to reduce the decimal digits of accuracy down to a smaller amount. So we could say round and pass it the result of this expression as the first argument. And the second argument could be four, the number of decimal digits of accuracy that we do want for our result. So we can save this. And if we run our program again and give a side length of 2.3333, we now only get four decimal digits of accuracy. If we needed to compute the area of a square at multiple points in our source code, rather than rewriting this expression again and again where we could maybe make a mistake, we could actually create a function to compute the area of a square. So we'll actually copy this and we'll make a function called square area that's going to accept a single argument, which is going to be the side length. We'll name the parameter L. And the function is going to return the result of this expression we'll just replace side length with the parameter name L. So instead of actually computing the value down here, we're going to call the function square area, and we're going to pass the square area function the side length. And then we'll save this and run our program again. And if we give a side length of 2.3333, we get back the same correct area result as before. So this is how we can compute the area of a square using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.